Hello and welcome tooling engineers. I'm Chris Goot, application engineer at Moldvac. We will be covering several topics regarding venting, tooling modifications, the recipe for perfect parts, and how we can help you maximize your profits through vacuum technology. Preparing a mold for Moldvac integration is as straightforward as the planning that goes into it. Like all tooling modifications, the process becomes significantly more cost effective and efficient when considered during the early stages of mold design. Upfront mold flow simulation plays a vital role, allowing us to identify end of fill regions and predict areas where air traps or gas buildup are likely to occur. This data-driven approach helps us strategically implement mold vac functionality while minimizing costly rework. Common tooling modifications include increasing the width and depth of vent reliefs to improve vacuum draw and enhance air evacuation. Depending on part geometry and mold construction, Vent paths that connect to the atmosphere may need to be sealed using welded shutoffs or vacuum compatible O-rings. In some cases, core pins or ejector pins can be machined specifically to support vacuum venting, enabling vacuum draw deeper within the part where parting line venting is insufficient. While mold vac systems can certainly be retrofitted into existing tools with great success, doing so often requires additional rework, mold teardowns, or creative tooling adjustments. Planning for mold vac integration from the beginning will always be the more economical and streamlined approach. I encourage you all to connect with me personally on LinkedIn. If you are interested in learning more about our mold vac units, please visit moldvac.com or reach out to our HQ at 630-425-6100. Thanks for watching.